It's finished, Inigo. Lakeview Manor is complete. We've added the furniture that we need. We've put armor on the armor displays, weapons in the weapon racks, and lots of other items in places they need to be. And it looks amazing both inside and out. I am fairly proud of us. Yes, I am. This is a house worthy well, of me. Yes, it is. I mean, it even has a stable. It has a stable with a spare horse. <gasps> we should go and get... What did we call it in the end? Was it Roach or was this one Roach? The one... The one we've got down in Falkreif. We should get that horse and bring him or her here. We've got a farmyard with animals for, you know... Farmyardy animal things. I mean, if we get a chef, they can come out, they can milk the cow, take the eggs and make sweet rolls for us, and we can sit out on the terrace and enjoy the sweet roll. Why is there an apple pie? Why is there an apple pie on the floor? Who's bi You know what? Never mind. Just, just, just. That apple pie is for the steward when it comes time for lunch. Anyway, yes, we can stand or sit out here and enjoy sweet rolls and other delicacies whilst, well, basking in the afternoon sun. There isn't much sun here in the morning. Actually, there's a bit, isn't there? If we sit at the edge, we get morning sun as well. Oh, yeah, this is incredible. And the rest of the house is also Amazing. I was quite surprised at how good it looks at night. These candles give off a reasonable amount of light. Which, unfortunately, some of the candles inside don't. But, you know, you can't have everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay here. It's just a little dark there. Now, this is a hallway that makes a statement. And that statement is... The person who lives here likes weapons and enjoys murdering, well, I was going to say defenseless animals, but most of them look like they have a fairly uh, good arsenal of defences. But it says, don't mess with me or I shall chop off your head and stick it on the wall. Probably. It's a gentleman's statement. The main hall. This I like. I mean, it's it's got a certain gravitas. I mean, it's rustic, but it, it really does... Why are you in my room? Oh, you're probably making the bed. Never mind, carry on. What was I saying? Yes, it's... Well, it's got style, but it's also kind of cosy. Long life to you, Thane. I do hope so. But it is, it's cosy and warm, and it looks like a fairly nice place to have dinner. I decided in the end that I was going with the Slaughterfish Trophy because, you know, basically, why not? And this, of course, is the master bedroom, which is pretty impressive, although... I am it... standing in the home of a hero. Yes, you are. It does contain a few, well, hint bombs because somebody has placed children's beds in here. And, oh, and it's, oh, we haven't put anything in that display case. And it, it's, this bed is getting in the, well, I suppose I can put a dagger in there. So that if for some reason somebody decides the hint bomb should go a little further and brings home a small child, they have something sharp to play with. We have a kitchen, a fully Docked kitchen. A kitchen that, well, currently has one sweet roll in it. I mean, yeah, we, we, we're going to get on the uh, sweet roll uh, production line ASAP. We really are. Inigo has been very, very patient considering it's probably been about four days since he's had a sweet roll. 
I actually secretly suspect that some of the animal heads that were appearing in here without my um, permission were him taking his frustrations out on the local wildlife. That does make sense. We've got a sort of work area back here where we can, well, we can discuss things, tinker around a little bit, and there is a storage room as well. We can close that. We have a cellar. We have a cellar. It is pretty large. It can be somewhat dark, although, um, you know, with these displays, it's a little brighter. There are a few displays missing at the moment because I don't have all of the amulets. That is not true. I actually have all of the amulets. Unfortunately, most of them are on display at the museum. These were the spares, so we have to keep our eyes open for some more amulets. Yes, we do. I still don't know what that is for. I really do not. One thing I didn't realise is we can actually fill bottles from the mead barrels. That is a nice touch. And for some reason, I just, I thought this outfit suited the area somewhat. We've got an area for Inigo to shoot his bow and do other things like rolling around, practice his rolling and shooting. And we've got a lot of safes. Yes, we do. We don't actually have much to put in them at the moment, but there you go. And of course, we have an upper area, and the upper area is, well, it looks pretty awesome. And of course, <laughs> the pirate's outfit had to be on display. This is the helps room. It's a little rustic. I really, really did want to replace the beds with something with sheets because I know it's just the steward and possibly a chef, but well, we have standards to maintain, don't we? And this, this is Inigo's room. Inigo's room with a bow on the wall and a fully stocked, oh yeah, a fully stocked bookshelf. Lots of books for him to read. Yes, indeed. And of course, probably not my favourite part, but almost certainly the crowning achievement of the house, so to speak, being right at the top. The Tower of Alchemy, a place where we can stand and look out over the lake across Skyrim and shout, hello, Skyrim. We are here. This is Inigo, and I am Thane Leonard, and this, this is my house. <laughs>